Okay. So we have this circle over here, as imperfect as it may be. And I'm going to draw its center point and have some rays emanating from that center point such that they form an angle with its vertex on the center point. So that would be a central angle. Vertex at the center, central angle. So um, let's say the circle has radius r. And if it has radius r, a radian is defined as the angle measure that essentially opens this this angle. I think of the angle as the two rays, and you open them up to get to a particular measure. You may not see it that way, but that's how I see it. But you're going to open this up and create the angle such that the length of this arc in green, the length of this arc, so if I stretched out and laid it down on top of a ruler, its length would be equal to the radius of the circle. When that happens, this angle has a measure of one radian. So theta equals one radian. When its subtended arc is equal to one, radi one, one radius. So that's the definition of a radian. Now, how can we use this and why is it beneficial or, and or easier to deal with in many, many situations? First of all, let's talk about converting from radians to degrees. And here's a, here's a way to understand it. So when we, have a, when we have a circle, I'm gonna draw a new circle. So we have a circle like that. Hopefully you recall that if I go once around the circle, I travel an angular distance of 100, or excuse me, of 360 degrees. So 360 degrees. And since a radian is this sort of length where we get this r, and we're going to travel another distance of r, and travel another distance of r, etc., and keep going, we know that the circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r. That means that there are how many of these r's all the way around the circle? Well, there are 2 pi of them. So what that means is that there are 2 pi radiuses around the circle. 2 pi radiuses around the circle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and a little bit more. And because 3.14 times 2 is equal to 6.28, blah, 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 right? So there are 28% 20, of a radius more than 6 radiuses around the circle. That's a weird way to say it. In any case, 2 pi r. So if there are 2 pi radiuses around the circle, and that's equivalent to 360 degrees around the circle, what we can do is we can divide both sides by 360 degrees. We get 1 on the right-hand side. We get 360 over here as well. And so we get 2 pi over 360. This is in radians. This is in degrees. Simplify that, and we get pi over 180 degrees. So really, this becomes a conversion factor. So if I tell you that you have uh, pi over 2 radians, and I want you to convert that to some measure in degrees, you can do this, pi over 2 radians. Those are my units. And I can multiply that by this conversion ratio, which is 180 degrees divided by pi radians. And notice how the radians in the numerator, radians in the denominator, they equal 1. And I get 180 degrees times pi over 2, which ends up being I'm sorry, notice how the pi's equal one as well. And so I get 180 degrees over two, which is 90 degrees. And in fact, pi over two radians is equal to 90 degrees. We can do that over and over again. Let's say that we have 45 degrees and we wanna convert that 45 degrees into radian measure, okay? So 45 degrees into radian measure, we'll take uh, 45 degrees, and since degrees is in the numerator, we want degrees in the denominator. So we're going to take 180 degrees and put it in the denominator so that these units will, quote, cancel or equal 1. And then we'll put pi in the numerator. And so, uh, yeah, yeah. So we're going to get 45 
times pi over 180, the degrees cancel, so this is in radians, and so we get 45 divided by 180. Well, how many times does 45 go into 45? Once. How many times 45 go into 180? Four times. So we get pi over 4 radians. And in fact, pi over 4 radians is equivalent to 45 degrees.